All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw that clip. That is from <clears throat> one of his films that should be coming out real shortly. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this man here is extremely talented. You've seen him, of course, on Blackish. He's a writer for Survivor's Remorse. You've seen him in the first match. That's the clip you just saw. You'll see him on Officer Lincoln. If that's a short film, Trump's America. Whereas The Money, The Last OG, the TV series that's uh, that's being filmed right now, Killing Me Softly, Unstruck. Lynch, you've seen him in uh, Straight Outta Compton. I, listen, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to blow your mind. <laughs> We're about to Hello, blow you your mind with this guest right here. One of the most talented brothers. Uh, He's on, Hollywood's on. busiest man. We would like to present to you, Mr. Alan Maldonado. <gasps> What's going on, my man? <laughs> well, we're going to work through that right Hello? there. Yeah, we, heard, we can hear you. Can you hear us? I'm not sure what's going on. Can you hear us? Can you hear Hello, us? Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can. I don't know why it's just going through the. Uh, I can't. It's not on speakerphone. Oh, well, we can see you. We can. We're trying to see you. I don't know why it's going on speaking. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to figure. Let me see what's going on. <laughs> Come on, Alan. We're experiencing technical difficulties. We'll be right We're back. We're going to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't. Because this is live. Come on, let's go. I can't. Rehearsed. I'm, I know. Hello? Yeah, we here, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. Like, it was, it, it, of course, it's doing this. When we did the test the other day, everything was gravy. Everything was blue and cream. Well, we got you now. We see everything. We see you and all of that. There's that face. Yeah, I can see you, but I can barely hear you. Like, I don't know why I can't. Hold on. Let's get the engineer to pump up the volume. Um, a little bit yeah, better? I, I can only. I would have to put my ear to the phone. It's weird. All right. What about now? Can you hear us now? But yeah, I got my ear to the phone, though. Like, that's why I didn't get, it's got to be my phone. You, you know what? He, he may have to put his earpiece in. Do you, did you have an ear, earpiece what? last time? No, nah, they had an earpiece on last time. Okay. All right, well, let's try to work through this because we know you're a busy man. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I apologize. I apologize. Now, so first off, thank you for giving us your time to come on to the show. We're very excited to have you. Tell us what's going on with you now. Man, we got everything going on from, uh, of course, season four of Blackish, uh, mm -hmm. Survivor, season four of Survivor's Remorse. Uh, the new show with Tracy Morgan that's coming out next year. I got a movie with uh, King Batch called Where's the Money coming out October 20th. That's a funny brother. Most, most recently, just launched my uh, app, Everybody Digital, the uh, short film app. Um, we're basically the, the net Netflix for short films. So how did you get started in all of this? Because at 34, you have 74 acting credits. I'm looking at your IM, I'm looking <laughs> ah, at your Jesus, IM, <laughs> I'm looking at your IMDB right mm -hmm. now. You either in post production, you're filming, filming, completed, filming, post production, post production. I mean, how do you do it? Man, just I mean, through through the grace of God, I tell you that, man. I'm just a kid from the projects that had a dream that um and uh, said I wanted to do something in the entertainment as far as an actor and everything kind of grew, grew from that, from, you know, learning learning how to write from uh, the great Michael Caine and uh, Dave for years and now seeing myself as a writer now and uh, following the footsteps of our mentor, King Bears and Michael O'Malley. Uh, it's, it's an incredible journey to say the least. And as you mentioned, 74 credits, man, I, I, wow. I'm <laughs> like, I'm... No, I'm that's thinking the, about it. Like, yeah, that's that's. You yeah, the, that's I'm thinking you the modern day Samuel Jackson. I feel like, I, I feel like, hey man, and the thing is, I feel like I haven't even started. Like, that's the that's the crazy thing about it. Is like, I'm i have just I feel like just now I, I've really began to ride the ride, and as far as being able to put my ideas and put things together the way I want to put them together, and uh, just take have more control over my career, man. It's just uh, it's an incredible space to be in. It's an incredible space that I'm in right now. How did you go from writing on Survivor's, Survivor's Remorse to actually being on Blackish? Well, I was on Blackish before Survivor's Remorse. Well, was I? Yeah, 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 I was. I was <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, 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 I'm trying to, yeah, I was on Blackish before Survivor's Remorse. Um, actor on Survivor's Remorse uh, for the season two and then was brought in for season three 
as a writer after uh, me and Mike O'Malley had a, had a great chemistry on set. Um, uh, he discovered that I was a writer and he just really saw a potential in me that uh, nobody else saw in that in that particular moment as far as taking me serious as a writer. And uh, I'll never, you know, I owe Mike O'Malley my first, one of my first born, my first and second <laughs> born, uh, as far as giving me the opportunity to be respected as a writer and be able to be a part of WGA and et cetera, et cetera. And it's been a snowball effect ever since. Now, I don't know if you know it or not, but a lot of people look up to you. A lot of people that want to get into the business as as a writer or as an actor, what words of encouragement do you have for them? Wow. Uh, never give up. Understand that this is a business and approach it as such. Uh, when you approach, approach it as an artist, you tend to get your feelings hurt. You tend to be a little more sensitive about things that have nothing to do with your art. A lot of business decisions are made purely off of business, not because of talent, whether it's uh, it's not about oh you were the you weren't the better actor than the next person or you weren't the better writer than the next person is just the business that's built behind certain individuals will give them a, a better shot uh you know it's, it doesn't matter what, what talent you have if you don't have your business in place as far as being someone that is respected uh and has credibility and has put in the work and has a resume and has uh you know sacrificed some things like i, I you know i was protege of like I said Michael Caine for since I was 17 years old you know now that I'm 35 people are you know discovering that I'm a writer but I've been writing since I was 17 years old so you know uh not to say that it's gonna take everybody that long <laughs> but uh you definitely got to put your dues in and, and build your equity in the business so people can feel confident investing in you because people are spending a lot of money on these projects where they want to be confident they're going to get their return on their money all right well let's uh yeah. jump ship a little bit now we showed the clip yeah. the first match what is that about? yeah yeah, yeah. wow um it's uh, it's an incredible film i can't wait for it to come out it's gonna be on netflix uh starring myself and yaya uh who is in um to get down and he's gonna be in a new aquaman and uh he's, he's 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 blowing up man i'm so proud of him but it's about a uh young girl who uh finds herself uh fight club like a, a, a bare knuckle brawl type um league and it, it follows her journey and her relationship with her father uh who is yaya and then i'm the guy that kind of runs the underground fight club and uh it's a, it's a pretty unique story being that it's about a young girl going through it so I'm, I'm excited for people to get a glimpse of what what we did with that project and you got coming out 2018 the last og that you're currently oh, yeah. filming now how's it working first off tracy morgan is hilarious how do y'all get anything done on set with, with y'all cutting up like that i mean it just happens that we we, we get to play man we get to play on on, on screen and the character is is his character is is so um you know close to who he is as a person and his, you know his upbringing being that not to say that tracy was in jail for 15 years but he's from the hood he's from the project <laughs> you know? uh, and he'll be the first one to tell you some wild stories about that and uh this character is really kind of close to his heart as far as representing you know some real individuals that he grew up with and also representing a man that's um you know getting a second chance on life uh it just so happens that he discovers a reach into five brooklyn and discovers that his uh wife was pregnant before he went to jail and that she's now married. well not his wife his girlfriend yes i'm sorry you can finish your phone call and ask if you wait behind the on the van yeah yeah i got you yeah oh so, yeah so um yeah i'm sorry i'm at the i'm at the uh, i'm at the i'm at the nick game uh oh okay i just gotta go around this other section but yeah uh he, he's uh he plays a a guy who discovers his, his girlfriend has two kids and now she's married to uh a white man so uh it's trying to find his way in society, find his way back into his newfound family. And, and I play his cousin Bobby, who is kind of like the idiot savant who always gives him all the uh, bad, good ideas. Um, you know, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'm the funnest. And that's, right that's basically my character on the show. All right, now, look here now. Let, let me just put a little bug in here. You got uh, two actors right here on, on the show, on the Bad Amber Show. You got myself, you mm -hmm. know, I ain't got 74, but I got a good three <laughs> acting credits. <laughs> so if you get in the extra row. three, but I keep them clean. Yeah, I keep them clean. That's right. So if you got in the extra rows, be sure to holler at your boy. You got an I, or Irma P. Hart I Award winning Sherry Hearns right here. So Hello. Yeah. She got a couple of questions Let's for you, but because I, I know you're busy. Go ahead. What's up, love? Hey. Yeah, what's up, love? So I'm about to get personal with you, Alan. 
Oh, so, <laughs> so Benet is showing all now. these fancy pics of, pictures of you and you're a very handsome man. Tell your fans, is there someone special in your life? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm single, man. I'm single. Uh, as as busy of a schedule that I have, I will definitely say it's difficult for me to uh, keep a, uh, maintain a, a, a consistent relationship, being that I'm in 74 movies right. <laughs> and I'm doing 80 different things and writing and film. So, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm out there dating. You know okay, ladies, got, he's still available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking right now. I'm, I'm, on the, I'm on the hunt right now. I'm trying to see what's, what's, also, what's popping. Also, you were speak <laughs> you were talking about your upbringing a little bit ago. Can you tell us a little bit more about where you come from and how you reached the success that you yeah. have? Yeah, man, I'm from Rialto, California, 60 miles east of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in a kind of rough patch area of, in Rialto, where you know my, my dudes I grew up with was some more stuff was gangbangers, mm -hmm. drug dealers, and just you know cast out was running the streets and uh i found my way out of there uh through through the arts through through acting and really give dedicating myself to that and, and that type of life and energy that was that was a big sacrifice but uh, uh i made my way out of there with with the help of my mother who's a single mother raised me and my two mm -hmm. older sisters um and you know rode off her, her back of her hard work you know she'd mm -hmm. wake up at four o'clock in the morning come back at 8 p.m um so i felt it was uh, it was it was it was on me to be able to change the um the legacy of my family and and, and be able to provide and be the man in the family and take care of them so that's right. basically what i'm doing and just one last question just because of where yeah. you did come from and how you rose up out of that when you first said that you wanted to be an actor how did people respond to you? Because I know some people are like, you need a real job. You know, like, how did they you know, respond to you wanting to do that? It, it's weird. Like, my mom was always supportive. My mother was always supportive. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess that was who mattered most. Right. Um, I think it, it was very tough for the people, the kids, that I, the dudes that I grew up with, being that I, it was strange for them to believe that I was doing something different than what we were out in running streets and doing, right. doing you know, God knows what. Uh, for them to really take me serious, like I can't do this anymore. I have to do that. That was very tough. Uh, being that you know, I had to remove myself from you know people I grew up. My family. These, these guys were not just my brothers, but my protection. Right. You know. So I had to. Uh, I was in a real vulnerable situation, mm -hmm. uh, stepping away from that lifestyle and, and trying to and trying to act while still living in the hood. And um, you know, it was it was tough, but it was a. Uh, it was it was needed and it's a it's a big jump and I, I, I advise any kid that has though that um that that opportunity to do so you, you won't regret it as I've had many kids that I grew up with come up to me like man you made the right decision by leaving all this stuff in the streets and all mm -hmm. and focusing on your career well we're super proud of you yeah exactly thank you so much and now look here now when you win your Oscar and then we call you back for a follow-up interview, don't act like you don't know don't who you are. Don't act like you don't know us, Alan. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like nah, nah, I don't know. <laughs> Why is Benet sounding like an old black man? Now look here now. He I'm is an saying. old black man. Look at look at here. Look, 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 look at here now. Look, now, look, uh, I, I need one last look, favor from you, sir. I got it. Because I know you run a long Stop. time. I don't want the lady coming fussing at you at the Knicks game. Uh I need one last favor from you. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please Stop. just look into the camera? And say say your name, yeah. and you're tuned in to the Benet Embry Show. Gotta try to get him up. Okay, it's a, okay, the Benet Embry Show. Okay, right. All right. What up? It's Alan Maldonado, and you're tuned in to the Benet Embry Show. Word, 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 and download everybody digital. Everybody can get it. What's up? I'm coming. I'm coming. You see people yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Man, Jesus, we're doing a radio show here. Jesus. <laughs> Man, Take look, easy. very much success. Thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. We will follow you. Tell folks how to follow you before you get out of here. Please follow me on at Maldonado is everywhere and download the app. Everybody can get it. Uh, everybody digital is in the Apple Store and then it'll be in the Google Play in, uh, next month. Alan, I am going to friend you on social media. Sherry Hearns, you better accept me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, I, and I need I need a screenshot of you downloading the app. On my okay, I yeah, got we you. all we I all will you. do that. We all will do that. <laughs> please, please uh, do. Thank please you so do. much, man. Much success. We will definitely be in contact for a follow up interview, man. Do your thing. Awesome. We're proud of you. Got fans all the way down here in Texas, man. For real. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again, and y'all have a good night. Y'all have all a good right. night, you too, bro.
All right. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the main man. Hey, listen. Oh, I got him virus. <laughs> <laughs> you blush. Be sure and go Damn. and follow that cat, man. Alan Maldonado, he is on everywhere. He has so much stuff coming out. He is a tremendous talent. He seems like an overall good dude, man. I cannot Down wait. Down to earth. Yeah, down to earth. I cannot wait for the you last. Even, you didn't even talk about he played on uh, on uh, uh, soaps. 